Cruise tourism has been officially reintroduced to St. Lucia with a cruise call by Celebrity Millennium. The return of cruise tourism to the island is indicative of the reinstatement of revenue for cruise-dependent income earners. Government officials and stakeholders were on hand at podcast trees to welcome passengers with grand fanfare and treats. Hamadi Mark has details on this momentous occasion. The Castry spot lit up with fanfare as St. Lucia on Tuesday welcomed Celebrity Millennium to Port Castries, the first cruise vessel to the island since the halt in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The arrival of the cruise ship signals the reintroduction of cruise tourism to the island and more importantly, the reinstatement of revenue for well over 1,000 cruise-dependent income earners. Celebrity Millennium called into port around 7.30 a.m. with an estimated 400 passenger capacity and government officials and other stakeholders were on hand to welcome them. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Chastney, explained the significance of the reintroduction of cruise tourism. We have been working with the cruise industry since March of 2020 and very actively to try to get their return um, which was originally scheduled for October, November of 2020. Um, so to say that a lot of work has gone into this is an understatement. Um, I want to thank the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Tourism, um, and all of the stakeholders um, for their consistency, perseverance, and sticking through this. Um, so today is the culmination of, of a lot of, of work and effort to see Celebrity Millennium coming back into our shores. Um, and this again, head of schedule. So this is a, a meaningful thing because of the persons that are impacted by the return of the ship. The street vendors, the taxi drivers, the tour operators, all who have depended almost exclusively on this sector have been impacted for the last 16 months. Um, and while we have done some things to try to comfort them, it's certainly not, nothing can ever replace the income that they were generating from this industry. So this is a wonderful sight for them, and we, we are excited, to say the least. Continuous efforts were channeled into the safe return of the cruise tourism to St. Lucia, with regular meetings with the cruise lines, handling agencies, and the locally established cruise committee. High-level meetings were also held with officials of the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, FCCA, and a focus on safe resumption of cruise calls to St. Lucia. Meetings were also held with several cruise lines to finalize protocols that would guide the sector's operations while on island. The Prime Minister expressing gratitude to all stakeholders for their contributions highlighted the importance of the return as many individuals depend on the cruise industry for their income. We understood from early how um, the ship's not coming in with impact a lot of people in some So that sense of urgency now is represented today. And uh, we're just very excited that we're one of the first destinations to recommend services. To mark the momentous occasion, a plaque was presented to the captain of Celebrity Millennium, affectionately known as Captain Fio. Captain Fio also presented a plaque to the government of St. Lucia, commemorating the inaugural Caribbean Comeback Call. Adding to the fanfare, there were also prizes to be won. The first prize went to a cruise passenger visiting St. Lucia for the first time. Here. We and love St. Lucia! We've never been! Ah, I'm so excited! 
Minister for Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, Honorable Dominic Fede, expressed elation with the return of cruise tourism to St. Lucia. Oh, well, a tremendous day for St. Lucia. All the workers that have been out of work since um, the pandemic began, this really is an absolutely fantastic day for them. Uh, a lot of self-employed individuals, the vendors at the arcade, the vendors at the craft market as well. Um, I really want to thank the Permanent Secretary and Beverly, the CEO of the Tourism Authority, for the work that they have put in. I want to personally thank the Prime Minister, who really has been leading this from the front on the FCCA task force with the rest of the Caribbean. It's an absolutely amazing day for all of us. Activity manager Al is a Bon St. Lucian and has been working in the cruise industry for over a decade. He indicated that he is ecstatic that cruise tourism is making a comeback, having been out of work for some 15 months. Al said that his job is very rewarding and encourages young people to take advantage of the cruise industry. I can't complain. Traveling the world, um, the, the salary is always, always something to talk about, so I'll not ignore that. The salary is really good. Uh, and meeting amazing people, networking as an entertainer. I've networked with so many people to get opportunities to perform in Los Angeles, in Georgia, in Miami, in Europe. So I, it, it's, it's just a blessing working on cruise ships. Especially young people, if you're not sure what you want to do, even if you, it's not a career you want to take up, I would employ any young person to just um, go to MAMPA. There's agencies down here that get you booked to go on cruise ships. Do it. Um, it's a good way to make money if you want to go back to school. It, 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 the money you make that you can't afford to go back to school. So any young person, I would tell them to go into it. However, if you're also into hospitality, it's definitely a place where you can be an ambassador for St. Lucia. Because that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I, I've encouraged a lot of the guests to actually go on tours. And I always say, St. Lucia, I've done the entire Caribbean, and St. Lucia stands out. Honestly, St. Lucia stands out as one of the best. Animals. Cox and Company Limited's Chief Operations Officer Catherine Cooper expressed gratitude to all who contributed to the return of cruise tourism to St. Lucia. Cooper indicated that although the road has been challenging, Cox and Company Limited has been persevering and is glad for the return. Our company, our staff, our tour guides, our the drivers of the buses, we have not had any work since the middle of March of 2020, 2020. So today is an unprecedented day. I have been working in the cruise industry from 1984, and we have never, never gone through this sort of interruption in our business. However, Cox and Company was started in 1926 by my grandparents, and we never stopped, and we're not going to stop now. We are back. I would definitely like to thank the Ministry of Tourism and all that they did to work with us to bring the ships back to St. Lucia and to help us to get ready. I would like to thank the Ministry of Health, Customs, Immigration, our tour guides and staff for everything that they did to make sure that today is going to be an excellent day and that St. Lucia can deliver. The health and safety of St. Lucians remain of paramount importance. As such, safety measures have been put in place at the port. Karen Joseph is the Senior Environmental Health Officer of Port Health. Okay, so this is our public health facility. This is part of, you know, our mandate of, you know, health security at our borders. And as such, our public health facility would screen everyone who's coming in. And of course today, we're happy to have our first cruise ship. And of course, we actually achieving this mandate of screening, screening everyone as they pass through our facility. Continued calls with Royal Caribbean Cruises to Port Castries are tentatively scheduled for July 13th and August 10th, 2021, while other cruise lines will confirm their itineraries in the near future. From the Government Information Service, I'm Humedi Mark, reporting.